Good morning to all of you. <coughs> Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sukara. In this video, we are going to discuss the human rights of the aliens, the <coughs> principles of the international law in a problem given by the other university paper. The problem is like this. The government of Finland has detained a person by name John on the charges of committing terrorist activities. He was detained under Preventive Detention Act on the charges of committing the terrorist activities. He was detained in prison for five months. There is no trial. He was detained, he was kept in the prison for more than five months without trial. Then he challenged the same as a violation of the European uh, that is uh, Convention of uh, Human Rights. You may be knowing the regional convention called as European Rights. So whether it is a violation or not. So we have to decide this problem. So please remember, first of all, you have to go through the so-called uh, European Human Rights, European Convention or European Charter of Human Rights. In this charter, please remember Article 5, and Article 6 are more important. Article 5 says a right to fair public hearing by the independent and impartial tribunals. Of course, you know tribunal means in other uh, countries the court is called as tribunal. Here we call uh, the tribunal as a specially instituted body, particularly for the decision of cases relating to administrative matters, health city matters like that. There it is only court. So please remember Article 5 deals with the fair and public hearing. What is public hearing? So whenever evidence is recorded, so it should be recorded in the presence of the accused. So recording method in CRPC, you may be knowing, right from two, section 273 to 278 of the CRPC, the procedure is laid down that it should be in the presence of the accused or his advocate. Article 6. So this is relates to right against retro retrospective criminal liability. So a person should not be convicted for the same sentence as to the previous cases. Suppose if a person is involved in the case of theft for which punishment is 3 years, 3 years punishment only should be given. Suppose if it is enhanced to 5 years or so in the later stage, it cannot be awarded to him. Retrospective criminal liability. So these two are important. Please remember, we have to agree that one cannot be kept in prison for five months uh, without starting the procedure, procedure of trial. So definitely it is a violation of human right. Even as per our constitution, that is Article 21 of the Constitution of India, a right to fair hearing, right to speedy justice, right to fair justice are all invoked, invoked uh, as per Article 21 of the Constitution of India. So, right to speedy justice is a human right. It's a fundamental right. Definitely, it is violated. Now, not opening, but you have to give some case laws also. I am going to tell you two case laws. One is Lawless, that is Mr. Gerald Richard Lawless versus Ireland 1957. Almost uh, facts are similar. So, this uh, Gerald Richard Lawless was uh, detained without trial by the government of Ireland. So he, he has filed an appeal before the European <coughs> Commission actually as per the ICCPR a commission will be appointed. So he appealed before the European Commission that his uh, human rights have been violated because no trial is going on. Yes. The European Commission. Now you can call it as European High Court. European Court of uh, Human Rights. So they held that, yeah, they held in his favor. So actually, he was arrested on 17, 11, 7, 11, 7, 1957, when he was uh, to travel to Britain, even though actually he was arrested on the grounds that uh, he belonged to Irish Republican Army. He has openly stated that uh, he has left the so-called IRA, but still, Lawless was arrested under the so-called Preventive Detention Act in 1956 
Uh, I would, of course, at that time he was released, but once again in 1957 he was arrested and there was no trial. Of course, the case is serious because it's a sabotage case. Please remember. So, the European Court of Human Rights held that either you try or give bail to him. Ultimately, he was given bail in the year 1960. That is after three years of fighting, he got bail. So, please remember, this is an important case where fair justice, public justice, speedy justice is necessary to every human being. That is what is Article 5 of uh, the <coughs> European Convention says. Likewise, another case is also there. Of course, it's a negative example. This is Usman versus United Kingdom, 1998. Usman versus United Kingdom. In this case, actually, Usman, uh, actually the main Usman, he was murdered. Usman and his family, they were British citizens located or settled in London. Actually, the husband of this Fatima Usman, he was shot dead by a teacher by name Paul Paget Louis on 7 3, 1988. So, the son, Mr. Ahmed Usman, was also wounded in the shooting. So, this trouble came because of the student. This uh, teacher, Paul Paget Louis, uh, has got some uh, uh, contact with this boy. This boy doesn't know it uh, actually is an unnatural offense. Ultimately, after knowing this, the father, Mr. Uh, uh, Usman, he wanted to transfer him to some other institution. So, actually, uh, bewildered by this, this teacher shot him to death, shot the father to death, and in that boy was also injured. So, later what happened is, uh, uh, this uh, teacher has sent uh, so many warning signals uh, and a serious threat to the physical safety of uh, the boy. They reported the matter to the police. So, but still the police uh, did not uh, come to the rescue of the applicants. So, they filed uh, a petition regarding Article uh, 5, that is uh, actually right to life and liberty. So, for, take, for example, our Article 21. So, please remember here, <coughs> the European Court of Human Rights, they stated that no doubt there is a, an imminent threat to the family of Usman, but they are staying elsewhere. The police cannot uh, actually give uh, the so-called uh, immunity or protection to each and every person. So blanket protection cannot be given. They may arrange patrolling, that's all. They cannot keep any police constable uh, around uh, 24 hours uh, beside the family of Usman. This is what the court said. Police cannot provide security for the family throughout the day and night. So please remember, at the same time, blanket immunity is a breach of uh, Article 6 of the European Convention of the Human Rights. So please remember, Article 2 says right to life and protection by the so-called law. Definitely, police are there to give protection, but uh, total protection cannot be given by the police. Suppose if they are allotting one constable for each and every family, entire police force will not be sufficient. So. Here, Article 2 was emphasized and stated that uh, the court clearly stated that uh, police cannot provide bandhavas to each and everybody. Of course, they will arrange patrolling. At the same time, they are directed to give protection to the family of uh, Usman and others. So, these two case laws are sufficient uh, to say that fair justice, speedy justice should come to the uh, people and it is a definite case of human right. Okay? These two examples will be sufficient for you. Thank you.